Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately, my chair's broke, so I'm a little bit. Anyway, point is, this video series is uh, something of, of a bit of a revival for my channel. I used to do a video series called the On Track series, as well as the um, uh, something similar called ta Tanks Head to Head, where I take two tanks in either two separate nations, so America, England, or Germany, Japan, or England and Germany, same tier, same class, and I uh, basically put them head to head. Who's got a better view range? Who's got the better gun? Who's got a, the, the, the hardcore stats? Not necessarily skills. Again, paper stats or the soft skills, i.e. the crew. That's taken out. I'm talking about the actual physical hardcore stats, i.e. The, the, the maximum view range with the turret upgrades, the guns, the, the, the... Again, not taking into account premium ammunition, premium consumables. And I thought to myself, I think I might revive that one. Um, I did recently do a Hawker 30 challenge um, to say thank you to 530 subscribers to my channel. Thank you guys. You guys mean the world to me. Um, and so I was either to get a thousand damage or a kill and a thousand damage only using high explosive with the Hawker 30. And I actually did that challenge. So I'm actually proud of that. And I did that within three games. So I'm actually proud of that. So I figured I'd revive some of my older content that's kind of ebbed and flowed. Um, and so here it is, guys. Welcome to uh, basically tank review time. Um, I know it's a little bit late for me. Um, there are better tank reviewers out there who have more of an established history. But I think I have something over that they don't, which is I'm a former tank driver. Skills, as far as I know, was in the Navy. Quickie Baby is too soy girly to even be a tanker. Yes, shots fired. And, well, that's pretty much all I care about. I mean, you got you got Sircon and Fosh and whatnot, but they're off doing their own thing with different games. So, I've been prattling on enough. Let me get back to it. Now, this is the newest patch of the game, which is why my, my uh, uh, game... Uh, which is why my game client... Uh, uh, looks different than my normal videos because uh, uh, Aslan's hasn't come up with an update for the uh, new server yet uh, so and then we are on EU server 2 for this video um, so case in point here it is this is the tier 6 uh, VK 3306 uh, the 3601H basically now bear in mind this tank is elited which means i've got all the upgrades including unlocked the tiger one you'll see that later on in a, in a on series video where you'll see me uh, uh well you won't see me but i'll do an update where you can understand where i'm at so and in here so far all i've gotten is the lightweight suspension upgrade and that's for the traverse and suspension durability because this tank has some downers so i'll, I'll point out it, its pluses for a heavy tank of this, it, it's tier, this thing is pretty agile. Um, it's pretty fast. If you strap a turbo in this thing, it is ridiculously fast. Now, notice I've swapped my turbo out, and I do have a turbo. Uh, see, I have two. See, I have two, two turbos. So, when I say this, you've got to understand, I have played a few games where this thing had a turbo. But I took the turbo out because I realized that this tank's engine... Uh, uh, ammo rack, its engine, and its gear. Uh, it, so it, it's 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 gearbox. Sorry, not its engine. It's gearbox and the ammo rack are very low in hit points. What that means is this: this tank's very easily uh, ammo racked. It's very easily, uh, 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 and, and the gearbox is very easily destroyed, which means you're going nowhere. Okay, so you'll spend more time trying to get keep your mobility up which is the only thing this tank has going for it is its mobility the armor for its tier 100 millimeters overall across the front really isn't that great not for it not for this tier this is supposed to be a heavy tank and yes you think okay 100 millimeters compared to say 60 on a sherman or or i think it's like this i think it's like 80 something on a kv1 um let, let, let me double check that real quick i i want to say why is this still up on my screen? I can't 
What is going on? Yes, okay, good, great, go away. Like, your UI is still buggy as hell, and this is a brand new patch. Your UI is still buggy as hell, war game. <laughs> Alright, so, let's take a look. I want to say that the KV-1... I wanna... look at it. I wanna say that the KV-1 has... yeah, it has 75mm of hull armor, but it is slanted. So when you do shoot a KV-1, you always want to shoot it in this upper plate, lower plate. Don't aim here because you're going to bounce. Um, or you could just do the right thing. And if you know you've got some good pen over 110 or 120 mil, just aim for the face. And you'll go through it like butter. Um, so, like I said, so comparing it to its rival, which is supposed to be the KV-1, KV-2, um, or the American M6. Is it the American M6? I think it's, yes. Yes, it is the American M6. Uh, again, why are you doing this? Just, did you see that, Wargaming? I I have... Yes, I get it. Okay, I get it. Bloody hell. Fix your UI. Oh. So, yeah, and see, the M6, this one has some interesting... Um, I think, yes, 102 hull armor. But there are plenty spots where you can pen... Unlike most American uh, uh, tanks, you normally aim with a machine gun port. This one does have a bit of a spaced armor effect. So I really wouldn't bother, but you just aim for these f cheeks here. And you'll pen. So if it's side scraping, don't aim here. Aim here. Because this has to be exposed in order for him to get his gun to aim at you. So now you know how to deal with an M6. Um, and then you got the, the, the French B1. Um... Is it the B1? I want to say it's the B1. Uh, yeah. B1 ARL44. Again, you can go through those like butter. The Americans, uh, the British, you've got the Churchill 1s, 3s, and Churchill 7s. Now, Churchill 7s have a very unique um, layout. The hull is 152mm, which means you're going to have a hard time trying to get through it if it's but again it's quite flat in certain areas so if you're firing a uh, high explosive event if you're fly, firing uh, heat or if you're firing apcr rigid you'll go through i personally just always shoot the turret the turret and the gun meant that because it's basically just butter even with the upgraded turret which is supposed to be uh, 152 millimeters in the front okay you're still going to have an easier time penning it and I mean that, you will. You will always have an easier time penning it. Plus, there's a huge, great big flat top thing right top. You, you can do it. Plus, the fact that you'll be in brawling range at this point. So, where the 3006 excels. This thing is not a sniper. Do not try to treat it like a sniper. You want to get stuck in. You want to see where the enemy's push is. And then you want to counter it. That is this tank's entire role. Okay? So, let's get into a game or two. And, uh... You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got some boosters activated. Okay, fellow treadheads. We are on Stadazanki. Tier 6. Nice. This is an amazing, amazing lineup. Lots of heavy tanks. Lots of fun to have. And we've got to destroy an enemy vehicle by ramming it. This tank could do it with a turbo. I'm not even kidding you. You ram a light tank or a medium in this thing. They're not going to have a fun time. Don't ram heavies. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about because there's there's a T150 right there. Um, yeah, there, there's a few uh, decent, decently armoured vehicles, and you're going to see what I'm talking about when I said this thing is for a heavy. Now, bear in mind again, fully upgraded. I do have the horrible 88 millimeter, the first generation 88 millimeter. Gun because this one doesn't get the second uh, the second gen which is what the Tiger one gets. I have the first gen. Now I like to do a really bit of a strange tactic. That's okay. All right, all right, all right. Come on. And now my engine's dead. I did tell you that the engine does get knackered out. 
Now, I'm just proving to you, the gearbox gets knackered pretty quickly. And I mean that. Yes, I purposely tanked this game to show you how bad the gearbox gets knackered. Okay? The gearbox gets really, really knackered really, really quickly. Alright? On to the next game, guys. Game in the VK was a loss. Again, don't care about that. The reason why I don't care about that is because I was trying to prove to you that the gearbox is is the gearbox, the, the, the transmission, the engine, whatever you want to call it, that is a primary weakness in this tank. Okay? So we're wargaming have put breakthrough heavy tank. They don't know what they're talking about. They are talking out of their ass. What they've done is they've had some poor, sappy, fucking, geeky little fucking researcher that looks like me, wears corduroy and fucking turtlenecks, has gone down into the basement and found one, maybe two documented instances from some idiot in a factory in the middle of nowhere who got bored one day and wrote the wrong word and they've assumed that that is what this tank is for. No. No. I will repeat this. No. Do, and this is another thing. A lot of people keep asking me, does it suit World of Tanks by today's standards? Well, let's get into game two, and you'll find out. If this fecking... Oh my god, what is going on with your UI wargaming? Okay, we are up-tiered like crazy. Up-tiered like crazy. Now, we could push with the heavies in the city, where we can try and just for position and wait for the enemy to make a mistake we could go field and help counter push um i think that's what i might do again i've got mobility let's use it uh, if i get bogged down in the city with the lack of armor that i have um i mean their tiger one their vk45 their their uh, AMX 45 will, will just chew through me like an... I, I would just be an XP piñata. And I'm, I'm not joking. I would just get chewed through. Like I'm a chew toy. Alright, so we've got... What? Well, I wasn't lit. So that's good news. Again, Wargaming needs to do something with this map. Um, the... the this used to be a fun map, but then they, they tweaked it a little. Right, so again, I'm going to be using the buildings for cover. While my friendlies... Okay, so we've got a T29 with us. Okay, if he goes hold down and knows what he's doing, it... Oh... This could be fun. Yeah, see... Come on. Again, this thing cannot shoot on the move, so don't even try. You want to ram me? Fine. Would be nice. Okay. Come on. You can move. Sure would be fucking nice if people could actually shoot some of the targets. Great, my gun is dead. Yeah, he's just tapping the two key and going right through me. Like I said, fuck all, fuck all I could do. Fuck all I could do. Got a T29 back there trying to snipe. T29, you're not a fucking sniper. Move up. You have fuck all for view range, you twat. Fucking move. Alright, standard battle on Redshire. Uh, Jesus.
Um, no, I can't push with our heavies, not with what they've got. That Chrysler K will just hold us all down, and I'm not even kidding you. Chrysler K is going to find that one specific spot over there, and our K2 is going to look at us and go, help, 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 help. See? Our Yagi's already smashing the help key. Right, so we're just going to hit the R key, keep going forward. Okay, now I'm trying not to... Okay, so they've lost one light tank. We've lost nothing so far. A44, T43. I can pen those. They've got a lot of hit points. And if our guys can stay alive just a wee bit longer... Again, this is the only downside is, is this tank doesn't get good ground clearance from what I can tell. Okay, I know I'm not spotted. So they were aiming at him. So we do know that artillery does have shots here of sorts. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He's here. I'm coming. 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 Giggity. There's one. I'm going to focus. That's two. Don't care about you, mate. That's you dead. Why? Because I'm trying to keep my teammate alive. His, his hit points is literally going to be my armor. Okay, critically hit him. I'm, come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Good, he's dead. Now I'm going to wait here for a couple of seconds. Alright, so that's that done. Now we know that there's a Hellcat. Right, he's moved. He has moved. I've got no shot. Oh, T-34 got nailed. So we know he's got an angle. Three, two, one. I'm gonna wait for him to get proxied. Come on, just just wait for him to get proxied. Again, you can see the bloom. This tank is not meant for sniping. Okay, so someone lit me. Yeah, it was the Hellcat. So he's moved. He's moved. I can't do nothing. While he's staring at me. Okay, there's a T-34. Uh, yes, okay, I get it, T-34-85. You don't want me coming this way. Fuck you too. See? This gun is not meant for sniping. See? Shell flies too too slow. For an 88, it, it flies just too slow. Way, way too slow. So I know that the T-34 is over here. I can't make a break for it. Not while they've got... Uh, okay, uh, your sword's lit. Your sword's lit. Again, no shot. No shot. Watch. You're going to see. 
See? Shelled at him, go anywhere near where I aimed, or even in the remote same postcode. So I'll switch to my premium round now. Okay, the better round. And again, I'm trying to stay alive. But with the Jasaw near me. Yeah, I'm lit. There he is. So I got one into him. Come on. Two. I'll be lucky if I get one more. Three. Yeah, he's gonna. So we're just gonna stay here and just per keep everyone permalit. Thank you. I'm not moving. I'm going to stay right here. I said, I'm not going. I'm not. So, you know, this is where I wish I had some HE, because HE would, would, would do some damage. So, uh, he's over there. Poor Jasaw. Which means Hellcat's going to be in this corner. Yeah. Told ya. Got him. Now notice I didn't have a rammer, so I'm only firing a, 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 what would be considered a basic shell speed. So, first game, I proved to you that the gearbox is the big problem of this tank, which means if you are hit anywhere in that lower plate, any, and I mean anywhere in that lower plate, not just like with one specific spot, I just literally mean ab absolutely just anywhere in that lower plate, you are going to have a hard time. So if you're hit anywhere down here not just here not just here not if this one little pixel spot all the way right, right to the neck no 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 i mean literally anywhere down here if they have a gun that i think is 120 no it's either 100 it's, it's, it's a specific caliber and higher so 90 mil guns take a minimum of two shots two no two or three shots if they've got the dead eye perk if they've got this perk dead eye they can do it in one shot but normally it takes two but they will screw up your gearbox your basically gearbox and engine are, are treated as the same thing here in in in, in water tanks so you will get your, your engine knocked out so upgrades like the experimental improved hardening um and increased shell resistance and heck even um survival uh, uh, uh improvement suite you need that slot in this tank in order to survive i am not kidding you you absolutely positively a hundred percent need it so we're actually going to be going to our field mods now real quick we're going to be leveling up a few times because we've got the exp so we're now officially max level so again there's no point in sniping so there's no point in in having the adjuster parallax yes give me the extra view range Co. so now this is the tank completely maxed out okay completely and totally maxed out now with the improved hardening yeah So it's starting in quick DM. And so 
we can switch loadouts. In fact, I will make a loadout where I am using a turbo. Uh, without optics, my view range is what? 412. Okay, so I don't necessarily need the optics. So I could go with a rammer. Um, but you will need that's upgrade okay, I don't have enough for the tier 2 ok so let's go with this setup and what I mean by that is we're going with mobility on this setup so we've got this set up where we're going for just general all around, I hate to use this word, but fuckery. <laughs> or we've got this one where we're going with just general all around fun. In fact, you know, we'll even throw in a booster for the turbo. Uh, it's not on auto. There you go, auto resupply. So we're, we're going to go with a, 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 a tough nut to crack kind of build. And so we've got again 1330 hit points we are fully uh dialed in so if we look we got bonuses to our stats again the gun which is the primary source of, of damage to be dealt with a with a vehicle obviously it, it is what it is however i find that this tank its gun is its biggest weakness. Um, this is why there are a lot of times I will actually go back to this gun, the 7.5. Yeah, it doesn't do the big alpha meat eager R punch. And it only does uh, uh, 135 damage. But it has 221 millimeters of penetration. Which means if you do come across that one tough nut to crack. And you know that their weak spot is barely just over 200 mil. Tap that, you're golden. With the... the the 8.8 the, the .8, as you can see it's only 194 millimeters of penetration downside is is the tier 7 gun gets no he and as you can see i i, I wouldn't well I'm, I'm about to change the loadout and put some he in here now the reason why i'm going to do that is because in case i come across uh, uh and even then, is it really worth that extra no it's really not worth it so what i'll do is i'll just go back to this loadout it's really not worth that but point is overall the vk 3001 h it is a fun tank i enjoy it i've played it now it's elited i'll probably try and three market which is gonna be a nightmare to do not gonna lie but i genuinely think that it is worth it it is a fun tank for its tier tier six if it fights tier six it's great you just got to understand where to go on the map if it's an open map then you've got to wait for the enemy to push and then use your mobility in fact let's do one more quick game with the mobility build and you'll see what i'm talking about Alright, as I was saying to you, somewhat open, somewhat congested. It's This is a good and a bad thing. The reason why I say this is because we can actually use this. We can actually use this to our advantage. Now again, we're going to go with the mobility build. There we go. With this build, with the turbo and the turbo filter bonus... We are rocking 29 kilometers, 38, 40 kilometers, 42. Yeah, we're rocking at 42 kilometers for a heavy tank. Going uphill. Right, says so the M6. Uh, I will have to probably tap. Ready, bruv? All right, cool. Go point. Take the hit. It's fine by me. Now, 
No? Or are we just going to sit here then? There's too many of us. Too many of us. I'm trying to turn. Move, you fucking idiot. Alright, so we got some allies there. No, I don't have much in the way of view range. Yeah, see, I'm more, I'm, I'm, I am lit. And whoever's trying to shoot at me. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to... I'm trying to bait some information. So if they bounce, things of that nature. Come on. KV2 shot. Nice. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Now, I'll... Okay, so it's, uh... Oh, fuck off! Really?! Come on! You let him get a free shot like that? Again, see what I'm saying? The gun... The gun is garbage. Don't think that this gun is going to save you. It's not. Tiger 1. Absolutely not. Come on, guys. See what I'm saying? I literally watched my shell fly nowhere near the target. Boom! Come on, Wargaming. At least stop fucking us with physics. You know? The one thing that you don't know how to use. Yeah, see? Again, they're just going to go through me. See? There, there's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Okay, so I've got one into him. Yeah, our heavies are just falling. They're just falling. There's absolutely nothing I can do. A G2 is the one who fucked us. Missed that shot. Go on. Yeah. We've got one more. No. Nah. Nothing we could do. Nothing we could do. Like I said, G2 fucks us. He fucked us. He quite literally fucked us. But it is what it is. Anyway, guys. As you can see. Open maps, even with a mobility build, you're still going to get bogged down. You're going to get bogged down by stupid players with stupid moves and just stupidity full stop. Uh, this is why, again, I'm, I'm purposely losing games here. If I was to be a captain tryhard, I, I would have done something completely different, which is I would have swapped out to my other previous build, and I would have found a nice little spot. There is a little spot you can go to uh, with a Tiger 1, uh, with the 88, the upgraded 88, which I didn't have. Um, and again, no armor. This tank, that, that 100 mm again, as I was saying to you, the 100 millimeters of armor that you see on paper is a work of fiction. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's probably like this one little tiny strip somewhere that they've got and i, I again I'm, I, I don't have access to all the fancy tools like rendering videos and show you all the model angles and all this shit i don't bother with that crap i literally give this to you raw okay the vk3 3601h is a fun tank in specific things and only those things it does not do everything okay it only does one to two things adequately and i mean barely adequately okay you quite literally have to dump 20 40 60 i've just lost eighty thousand plus credits 
in that game. Because the repair kit's 20k, the med kit's 20k, the chocolate's 20k, the turbo uh, filters are 20,000. I just lost literally almost 100,000 credits playing that one game to show you that even throwing money at the tank is not going to make it better. There's a reason why people, when they get it elated, the first thing they do is they start selling everything in their collection to buy the Tiger 1 and stick with the Tiger 1. I genuinely feel it. Yeah, see? Like I said, if I go to details, go to report, there you go. I made a total of 8k. That's with 200% boosters and a premium, premium account. Now, my point still stands, okay? I would have switched to this build, and I would have... Again, and, I, I'm, and I'm trying to be nice when I say this. This 0.32 accuracy is a work of fiction, okay? The armor rating is a work of fiction. It's probably something like this little strip right here. Therefore, that means all of this is 100. No! It just means that, that this little tiny strip right here is 100 mil. This is 10 millimeters. And if you're smart, you see what I'm saying? Come on, Wargaming. Be honest. Because that's the thing. You don't know how to be honest. Because if you did, you wouldn't have nerfed the Super Persian the way you nerfed it. And then lied about it. And you did lie. Because we ended up pulling up the fucking actual stats from patch A to patch B and showed you. And then you got mad at us because we caught you in a lie. We caught your foreskin in the fucking till. And you still denied it. And you will still deny it to this day. Which is why certain mods now that read the metadata, you ban. Because you don't want to get caught again. Anyway. Not a rant. Not a rant. Anyway. Long story short. Is the VK3601H a keeper? Well, I don't have it in my North American server. And there's a reason why. Um, with the advent of a lot of low tier auto loaders now. And, and low tier derpers that you will see. And the, the BZ176 big... You know, Japan or Chinese Yamato it just looks at you and you just you're just dead you know no it, it just it, even if they did increase the hit point pool which is what they did they increased its average hit point pool if I remember correctly by about 10% from where it used to be at because KV2s could one shot you and now they can't so they did increase your hit point pool and by doing so it just makes you more of a pinata. But point is, if you know what you're doing, you know how to angle, um, and you're putting pressure on an enemy and you're rushing their shots, they will miss. Or you may get that one or two odd lucky bounces, but don't count on your armor to save you because it won't. Don't don't count on your ammo rack not blowing up because it will. I've had light tanks ammo rack me in two shots because the ammo rack is junk in this thing. The gearbox is junk in this thing. The engine is junk in this thing. Which is why you need to go with things like uh, 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 survival improvement suites and, and the improved hardening. It's not for the it's not necessarily for the extra hit points, it's should just for the module hit points. So that your modules don't 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 get knackered and taken out in one shot. And I'm not even kidding you. Seriously. You need this. You need this. This is a requirement for this tank. I think that's why they gave you the survivability slot. They knew it too. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Ciao.